Taking out agents in X Defiant can be a little difficult, but what if I told you it didn't have to be? In this video, I'm going to share with you my PC controller settings for X Defiant so you can take out more agents and have a little bit more fun. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm going to walk you through my settings for X Defiant. We're going to go through the gameplay, the controller, audio settings, video, language, and some matchmaking stuff. So first and foremost, uh, gameplay input, I have the controller, field of view. I have 85. 85 is reminiscent to some of the games I currently play, whether that's a Destiny title or even Call of Duty. I usually see it around the 80s mark or even Gears of War. It's around 85 uh, for Gears of War. So that seems to be a very, very good field of view. Uh, for me, it's just right. It's not too big and it's not too small as far as the field of view. So I choose 85 here. Okay, that's the philosophy behind that. Uh, ADS field of view, uh, consistent, uh, specifically because the low zoom ADS view matches, okay, your custom field of view. So it's perfect, it's it's nice and uh, transitional in terms of how it matches, so I have that. Uh, ADS behavior, I have that on hold. Uh, toggle, I never do. Uh, ADS sensitivity transition, uh, it's a gradual blend, so I chose blend instead. Uh, melee during ADS, I have that off. Uh, aiming interrupts reload. Okay, so if you're going to aim and you reload, you get the the cancel. Okay, so I have that on. Uh, crouch behavior toggle for that. Okay, never hold, which is kind of weird to me. All right. Uh, sprint behavior tap, of course. Uh, auto sprint, I have that to off. I never use auto sprint in any title. You know, unless uh, it, it calls for it, but not for FPS titles, okay? Uh, sprint, interrupt, reload. I have that to on, okay? Which is extremely important in the heat of battle. You want to be able to cancel that uh, so you can make adjustments uh, on the fly. Uh, slide behavior, I have that for tap. Auto, reload, weapon. I left that on for now. I don't know how I feel about that yet, but I left that on. Uh, so if you're new to FPSs or if you're new to a game like X Defiant, uh, leave it on for now and see how you like it. And you can always switch it off later. Auto switch weapon to next weapon when you're out of ammo. I left that on. Okay. Uh, auto grab ledge. I don't like that to be on depending on the situation. Sometimes I could be near a ledge, but I don't want to grab it because the enemy is right above that ledge. Uh, so you have to be mindful how you're doing that so i left that off okay walk behavior i have that on hold uh scoreboard behavior i have that on hold and then you have some additional settings down here and the challenge notifications i don't want to see the challenges all the time on the screen which is usually on the right side so i have that to completion only okay completion only uh, damage numbers. Okay, so uh, the the philosophy there is when you see the damage number, it's rewarding to see because it's like an instant gratification. So having that on the screen is almost like a you know high five every single time that you see it as you're processing the damage uh, to the opponent before they are gone. Right. So I think it's a good thing to have that on. So you actually get like many rewards as you're playing the game that that's your that it's being effective, right? So damage numbers, I think that you should consider having it on because you get many rewards along the way. Uh, enemy health bars, uh, definitely on. OK, uh, mini map rotation. I left that off. I don't necessarily, uh, I guess, look at the mini map as much uh, these days because um, I don't know. I, I don't necessarily look at the rotation of it and that never really like bothered me so i left that off uh distant uh units uh, and meters i left it there fps display don't want to see that i turn that off uh ping display okay so ping display is extremely important uh low pings are better uh so as you can see my ping is in the 30s right now if it's higher than that before you start a match you want to leave that match because it's going to be a bad experience okay so i would say 
you know, leave that on so you know exactly the type of match that you're going to go into as it relates to ping. Okay, you want that the lower the better. Okay, so definitely uh, look forward to that. Uh, next thing we have here is network info display. I have that off diagnostic overlay off team composition overlay. I have that off. Okay, so that's what's happening there. I do not use mouse and keyboard, so we're going to go right to the controller. Okay, so controller, I have Brawler. Okay, Brawler is uh, reminiscent of Call of Duty. Uh, the stick layout is default. Uh, aim assist, I have it standard. Okay, standard improves accuracy and target acquisition. Aim slows down as the reticule nears a target. So I have that standard. Okay, aim assist strength, uh, that's zero. Aim assist follow, I have that zero. Uh, aim response curve type. I have that as standard okay so now this is probably going to be a point of departure for a lot of folks this particular section here my horizontal sensitivity and my vertical sensitivity i have them very low okay as you can see i have them to four okay which is very low and for me it seems to be working really, really well. So I, I left it at four. Maybe I'll move it up to five, but right now it's at four, okay? And this is the thing that is going to be uh, a make or break for you as you're navigating, uh, aiming at the target and how fast your, your thumbstick is gonna move, you know, from left to right or up or down. I have it extremely low. It's up uh, for me, it's reminiscent of you know, Destiny, it's also reminiscent of Call of Duty. Uh, those tend to be low for me. And the default in Call of Duty and Destiny are low. And I was wondering why this one was set so high. Like, it was all over the place when I first started playing the game. So I have it at 4. I'll try it at 4. Maybe in, do increments of, increments of 5. Okay, and see how that works as you move up. But for me, 4 seems to be a, a good sweet spot for me right now. Uh, ADS Sensitivity Multiplier. I left that at one, okay? So now this multiplier also is one for Destiny, if you play Destiny, uh, so that's where it's at, so I left it there. Uh, dead zone, uh, left stick and right stick. Uh, you can adjust that depending on if you want to make some adjustments. Uh, for Destiny, and I'm, I'm referencing Destiny because I play a lot of that, so on Destiny, it's actually point, uh, 0.12 and point 0.13. I left these at default for now because uh, it feels uh, pretty good when I navigate the game right now. So I didn't make adjustments there. All right. Uh, acceleration speed uh, multiplier. I left that at one. Invert horizontal access off. Invert vertical off. Controller vibration never on. Okay. Never on. Maybe I don't know why you would want this on, but I never turn this on because it really shifts what's happening with you and the opponent and it throws off your aim so i never never put that on okay all right so so those are the settings there and next thing that we have is audio and voice chat okay so everything here i left pretty much on as far as the music is concerned i think the music is pretty dope in the game uh, mute audio and minimize i have that off uh voice chat off because i don't want to hear any random things uh, in the game especially when i'm streaming because i do stream uh quite a bit okay so that's pretty much it for this screen here no major adjustments the uh, next thing that we have here is video and graphics this is going to change based on your system my system is uh, pretty uh, i would say it's a low end pc you know i'm still running 60 frames 1080p that's pretty much it for me all right so pretty much everything here i left uh the same uh, the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, I have that on. Uh, the DX12 Renderer, I have that off. Okay, Triple Buffering and Reduce Latency, I have those on. Let me scroll down a little bit. Uh, graphics are custom, VSync is on. Uh, frame Rate Limit is on, I set that to 60. And then you have uh, the rest of the things here according to uh, the custom setting, which I did not make any adjustments down here at all okay the next thing that we have is language and accessibility okay language and accessibility uh both english here for me okay subtitles are off all right uh colorblind mode none flashbang 
Okay, some people like it bright here. Okay, I chose to go with dark. All right, <laughs> so yeah, I'm not blinded when this thing happens here. Uh, menu text contrast, normal, menu narration off. All right, chat window off. I'm not really looking at that. All right, so pretty much everything is faded out here. Uh, last but not least, matchmaking an account. You have crossplay is on and input base matchmaking is on.